Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tech Tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you something cool that I've built. It's called a rocket centrifuge. So this rocket centrifuge will have a model rocket engine inside it. This rocket engine, when ignited, will spew out hot gases, causing it to accelerate in a circle. Now, this whole centrifuge is mounted on this metal ring stand, which is holding the sensor, the Arduino, and the actual rotor. The rotor is made from PVC pipe, cardboard, and balsa wood. These counterweights serve to off-balance the entire rotor. Now, this thing is pretty cool, how it's just a rocket on a centrifuge. But because this is Tanner Tech, I'd like to incorporate some electronics on this centrifuge so I can measure its speed. Now I'm doing this with a magnetic reed relay. Now what this does is when there's a magnetic field around this glass tube, it, the contacts inside close, which cause it to conduct electricity. So this little relay is right here, and it's connected with a resistor to ground, one part of the relay to 5 volts, and one part of the relay to the switch on the Arduino, which is pin 8. Now, what causes this uh, read relay switch to be activated is this little magnet on the rotor. So whenever this magnet passes over the read relay, it causes it to close. This Arduino is an Arduino Uno, which is connected to the read relay, and it is fed by a USB port down this wire to my laptop, which is behind this trash can, which is serving as my shield. Now my computer will record the data that is fed from the Arduino. This trigger will activate the rocket from a safe distance of far off. As you can see, the rocket is over there. Now it's time to start the tests. So I'll hook everything up and then light off the rocket and we'll see what this thing can do. Four, three, two, one. Three, two, one, go. This is the data that I have gained from the rocket centrifuge. These numbers are the velocities of the rocket centrifuge, and these graphs show the velocity after each turn. As always, thank you for watching, and make sure to stay tuned for my next video where I put my 50 watt flashlight to the test in the tunnels under my city. Ow.